make sure it doesn't come down. I specifically taken this appointment. No one wants me, okay? Is that okay? Just do your best and and we'll see. But 
I think that the diffusers would work well on your face. Um, but with this reflector, we have a golden reflective umbrella in there as well. using this one, it will have that really sort of sun-kissed lighting effect on you. This, all of these umbrellas work well if you're further away from the camera, and it will give you that nice glow. Uh, so we might try that later on. We could change the umbrellas and, and see what we can do. Whatever you'd like, today is your day in. We focus everything on you. So they're all there if we need it. So before we begin, I'm just going to get you in the right spot. Thing, you're pretty much there. Yeah, so that's great. So what I'll ask you to do uh, whilst we take the photos, uh, if you just look directly in the lens as I pointed up to you, and just focus your attention around this area, and maybe perhaps here, and it's. You've just got to listen to uh, what I tell you to do. I'll give you instructions and just go with the flow. Uh, relax, enjoy yourself, and we'll get the shots and get you in focus and make sure that uh, we're getting all your angles, all your angles there, all your angles there, and maybe a couple higher up and maybe a little bit underneath as well. But we'll capture uh, everything too really nice selection to have a big bag with you. Okay, so what you want to do is just take a little measurement here. So if you uh, wanted to come back and get a couple more shots, if you like something or you wanted to just slightly change the angle, then I'll measure the distance when I'll be taking the majority of pictures to make sure that everything can be as naturally set up as it is today that it would be if you came back. So I'm just going to you just put your chin up there for me. That's great. And I will be about Here, 
24 inches away from your chin and the front is doing it on the side there and if I'm coming from the side probably a little bit further away over 27 and maybe if I'm doing some slightly closer ones probably about 16 there's some real close up shots to make sure that if we can really capture those beautiful eyes there's a lot of depth and wonder in those eyes and this is just many reasons why I wanted to capture your face you offer a lot for a photographer so what I'm going to do just have to do the photographer type things Nice new battery in there for you. And we'll start off with this wider angle lens, but when you focus it in, it will really create some nice sort of, sort of background effects with your background. Make you pop and then make the background sort of stand in. So are you ready? Have your pitch tape. Good, you look ready, so just pop your hair down there, a bit like that, that's great. And so if you just look at me and not look at the camera, that's great. So I'm going to, like I said, move around and capture some angles. So maybe we'll start off with the close ones first. So the 14 inches from your chin. So just look directly. really great to see that at there and so we've captured just there and we've really made your face shine and pop out that's why i love this lens it really is great at photography work and that sort of depth of field and make the background sort of blend in seamlessly with your face so i'm sorry you have to forgive me that when i take pictures i get a little bit into it so if I see something that I want to change on your face, it's nothing wrong with you. It's just how I see through the lens and I see things just slightly differently through the lens. So whatever that I see through there, I just make slight adjustments on you just with your head just to make sure that's in the right position and your sort of cheeks upright as you pose. And yeah, so we're adjusting as we go along. Um, but yeah, that was a good one. So about a couple more with this lens and then we'll change out the lens. Smiling, that's great. More of that keeps smiling. That's, that's great to keep 
smiling. Don't worry about the camera. said you are so easy to take pictures from you want natural beauty just radiates and it's all captured in this thing here and that's why i love photography it enables me the photographer to capture something which maybe you don't see in real life and bring out that inner beauty so to speak and I see things a little bit differently than other people and I see that inner beauty and I can see it through the lens and that's what I'm trying to capture this natural inner beauty looks that you have where your eyes show your individuality and the beauty within and just like with a simple smile when you do that smile there it's perfect that is so perfect, and that is what I'm capturing here. I think when you get your photo shoot, it's not just about getting the shots, but the experience as well, it's a feel-good thing, right? Like between the photographer and the person who is getting the picture taken, and you are in those shoes, and you should feel good. And it is a great place uh, to just have some you time and focus on you uh, which everyone needs now and again so if you ever need to feel good get your picture taken go to a photographer get your picture taken come back see me we'll take more shots and we'll work with this fine canvas of photograph photography opportunities photographic opportunities so I think what I'm going to do now is just switch the lens over. Uh, so if you could just bear with me a second. It gets a little bit fiddly. subject in front of the camera and then you're able to take pictures and you could see the sort of silhouette of the countryside or the cityscape you've got in the background but that's all faded out that's called depth of the field you're in shot in focus so you almost pop in the picture it's a great technique and this lens really does do that justice so you ready for another batch maybe a little bit different this time so what I would like you do for me is maybe look in between the two the two umbrellas for me. Can you do that between the right umbrella and the left umbrella? So just direct your attention over there. I might instruct you to just put a couple of funny faces or you know, like natural poses. And if I do it smile, just smile. Makes you feel good. And we'll get this show in the road. Okay, so Good spot. 
Right. Ready. Great. If you can just wave my finger around like that, I know that you, you don't know what to do, but if you see my finger, just follow the top wherever it goes, because I'm looking for those angles in between the little thing I do. as much as you can. Okay, that's great. That's great. I think we've got the shot there. That's that's so perfect. Well, you're just you're so natural at this. I don't think you even realise how good you are. You sure you haven't had this done before? Your photo shoots. Well, you've just got a very natural sort of vibes going for you. It's portrayed in your your looks. It looks so great. Alright, so. I think that's good for that angle there.
as uh, this comes with the camera. But so many shots to make sure we got a fast selection so that moment maybe where you just look slightly to your left or to your right and that's captured there could be a moment in there which is perfect so we're we'll probably doing the same again just on the other side so great to work with. Caption this, I think my camera basically has found its ideal model. So if you want a model, then come back. But like I said, thank you so much for being part of this and wanting me to get involved with this photo shoot. I know it's a little bit of, of a long shot to get you here, but really it's it's been so great having you here. We've got the shots that we wanted. I'll get them sent to you. Uh, so you have them, your headshots in a couple of different variants and angles. And there's no need to Photoshop any of them. They're all so great. And we've worked with different lighting. The background just makes you, compliments you so much. So we have that depth of field, those angles. It's just so great. So we hope that you've had fun and enjoyed your first photo shoot. And like I said, it's a great way to to feel good and just have that little bit of personal attention given to you. 
sort of making a fuss over you and of course it's easy to make a fuss over you you're just like the ideal person to take pictures of and the portraits that you're going to get back are just going to be so great so thank you for being a part of this once again really couldn't have done this without you I hope you like the experience it's some people say it's kind of relaxing I think it's that sort of care uh, me as a photographer like to put in to you the subject I think it's maybe a closeness personal attention maybe you forget to instruct you to do different things I know people like that they just feel at ease and kind of just chill they don't have to think about anything apart from just looking natural and letting me sort of capture the pure essence of you <laughs> do forgive me, I'm so sorry I'm trying to get you mind if I just take I'm so sorry this has been a great shoot hello no, 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 I told him no this is the wrong shoot, I've already shot them it's been so great, you've done great great work today and I would love to have them back if they want to come back for shoot they can they're always welcome to no 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 make sure he doesn't come in hang on one second uh, it's basically someone who I work with and he's a photographer as well but we have someone as well who's been working here quite a long time what's his full name? what do you mean you don't know his full name? his nickname so he is actually called Orange right uh, hang on one second so this is person that uh, claims to be one of the best photographers uh, around this area and he thought he was going to shoot you uh, but I think that he saw that picture that I took of you and he really wants to shoot you as well but he's just one of the most ghastliest of people. No, he's on his way now. Um, but yeah, I don't think I don't think we're interested in there. Just try and keep him away and we'll get out before he comes. Okay. Right. Right, okay, thanks for letting me know. Okay, bye bye. Right, so that photographer, uh, R E G, people just called him nickname Rude English Gentleman. He's this posh English guy and he professes himself the best. Um, I wouldn't say he's the politest of the people. And he did take a look at that snap I took of you the other day. And he really wanted to take shots of you. But I don't think um, he would be as polite. Um, maybe, maybe later on. So I suggest that uh, we probably uh, make haste and get out of here before he turns up. Otherwise you have to go through uh, however long with him, 30 minutes, whatever. So you've been a star, a real pleasure to shoot today. Hope you've enjoyed it and uh, take care of yourself. I'll be seeing you again soon.